how much of an emphasis was that with Coach and you guys going into the game? Uh, it was a huge emphasis, you know, uh, having such a big presence in the paint like Oscar. It was it was really important to, you know, hit him first, not allow him to establish his, his contact and his position in the paint. Um, you know, we know they're really successful when they're, you know, getting second chance points, getting fouls, getting to the free throw line. So that was one of the main keys in, in uh, winning the game. For both of you, uh, your work on the glass tonight, I know it's a big emphasis all week, but how did you feel you guys did in that area? Um, yeah, I feel we, I feel like we did good. Uh, that was definitely an um, emphasis this week that we worked on. Uh, we know it wasn't just going to be you know the bigs, KJ Ernest and Zuby down there, uh, Bang with Oscar having to get the rebounds. If they boxed him out, then that opens up rebounds for us. So uh, we took advantage of that and uh, cleaned up the glass. What did you make of their impact, Zuby and, and Ernest especially in the first half? Uh, it was huge. Um, as freshmen are playing this environment on the road, um, that showed a lot. Um, you know, they're uh, they're coming along very well, and they're working hard every day. That was a big time performance from both of them. Jalen, just a gut check tonight for you guys. I know I know the last three haven't gone the way you wanted, but obviously this one has to feel pretty good. Yeah, no, this feels great. You know, winning any time, you know, with a stage like this, uh, two historical programs, you know, one to two and wins of all time. It's a lot of pride on the line, like I said before. And, uh, you know, this means this, this game means a lot to a lot of people. And, uh, you know, it's good to get a win, good to get our uh, our trains rolling again. And, you know, we got a big game Tuesday. So uh, it's good to get, you know, some confidence under us and, and play well that game as well. Right. Kevin, what happened in the second half that led you to have to go out and just how much pain were you going through? Um, yeah, I just cut to the basket. I stepped on a dude's foot. I just took my ankle a little bit, um, but I'll be good. Um, we got the best trainer in uh, Chad. Um, he's going to get me back right, and I'll be ready for Tuesday. What did it take for you guys not to allow them to get away from you guys? Um, really just stopping them in transition. Notice in the first half how fast they're moving the ball. Um, makes or misses, they were pushing the ball pretty fast. And you know, it was an important job to slow them down, make sure we guard them in the half court and not you know, just let it be a running contest. And uh, you know, as soon as we started locking on that, the game kind of shifted in our favor. Can each of you talk about the late threes you hit? Kevin, yours, late shot clock. Jalen, yours from the corner. And then Grady hit one too. I mean, a lot of effort went into the win, but those three were huge shots. Uh, yeah, you know, being being the older guys on the team, got to have the confidence to knock down shots in, in the biggest moments. You know, uh, a lot of these games when you're playing a, a, such a well program like this, got to have the confidence to hit shots and, uh, you know, have faith that it's going there. Uh, yeah, just like you said, you uh, trust your work that you put in, um, you know, keep a level head and your teammates believe in you to take the shots and you just got to go out there and knock them down. Yeah, you guys did a lot of damage on the pick and rolls, uh, get guys to the basket. Was that something you guys normally do, or was it something you saw on film you thought you could take advantage of tonight? Uh, yeah, that's something we normally do. Um, you know, we have guys like Dewan and Bobby that can get in there and um, you know create different different looks for different guys coming off the pick and roll. Um, you know, KJ, he's a great at short rolling and catching it. And then we got airspace guys like Zuby and Ernest that can you throw it up there and they're gonna go get it. So um, you know, we work on that pretty much every day, and that was the emphasis tonight. As your program, you know, had lost three in a row, and Coach South had never lost four in a row. Did that kind of play on your play here tonight? Uh, I don't think we thought about thought about it like that. You know, every single game that we played. Uh, it was a tough game against a really tough team as well as tonight. And uh, I think we just focused in on what we had in front of us, uh, not really worrying about the past. Uh, it was a tough three games, tough three losses, but, you know, we came in here with a, with a great mindset, with a lot of uh, positive vibes and positive energy to, uh, to just play together, play our game, and, you know, not worried about anything else but winning the game. Can what do you guys talk about KJ's game overall, getting matched up against Oscar and how he played, you know, 17 points, uh, pretty good defensively? Um, yeah, that's what KJ can do. Um, you know, he's just been working his tail off every day. Um, you know, some people say he's undersized at the five and stuff, but um, he makes up with that with how hard he plays and competes, and uh, he uses his speed and his strength to his advantage. Um, and matching up with Oscar tonight, um, you know, that's a big challenge for anybody. Um, but he went in there and handled his own, and uh, he came out with a good W. Anyone else? Yeah, Jalen, you said the other day that Dewan was good spirits, all that. Um, how big were the two threes he hit early in the game? Huge, huge. Um, you know, all we were emphasizing him on scoring, being confident, going to the rim, understanding that, you know, when he's in that pick and roll, he's so dangerous to do so many different things. And uh, that's what we need him to do. You know, exactly what he did tonight, facilitate, shoot the open shots and uh, and get to the cup. And when he's playing like that, our offense is just so much better. Okay.
Uh, got one more. Okay, last one here, Ed. Uh, you had mentioned something while I was walking in about how big a win with this this program was. I'm sorry I was a little late, but kind of go over that real quick if you could again. Yeah, you know, it's always a huge one playing a, a blue blood like Kentucky. Uh, I remember last year, especially with how they did this when, when we were at it in Lawrence. Um, they beat us by like 20 points, I want to say. So it was a lot on this game, you know, understanding what they did to us last year in our own home court. Um, so coming here, playing with that same mindset to get them back and to understand that it's going to be a high intense game. You know, the, the fans are great. And uh, just to play our basketball. Okay, folks. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, guys.